Hi guys, now you're gonna see my last video from Santiago. I will talk about my time there, what was special for me, how hard it is to leave. So if you don't want to see me crying in totally emotional status, just skip this video. Otherwise you see of course what's happening on world trips as well, to be emotional, to leave a place that you fell in love with um and the people there in town so yeah um it's hard for me to publish it a little bit because it's very like as close up how i am and how i felt and that makes you vulnerable but that's what i wanted to show you on my world trip is how i am and how my traveling is and what I feel and what belongs to it and being emotional and crying a little bit <laughs> that belongs to it as well so um yeah you see this video right here right now um have fun with that or not <laughs> then we see us back in New York so bye today is a sad day <laughs> um god so crying Today is his hair day because I am leaving Santiago and it's, <laughs> God, and it's really hard at the moment. Um, I love the city so much. Not the city, but the people in the city. Um, I had the best time on my world trip here in Santiago. Um, dancing with the guys and going out and it felt like a family in Santiago. They were so cute and nice and I don't know, it was everything comes together and if you met so much people and dance with them and you meet them again over the days and you know their stories and they know yours kind of. Um, it's hard to leave because it's it's just a good good time and and the thing is it's nearly the end of my trip so I realized that I don't have that freedom anymore to travel and to go wherever I want to go or to come back to Cuba for another time right away um, like I did this time so yeah I don't know it's just hard at the moment um, I hope I get over it because I have still one week in New York to go and I want to enjoy that as well but knowing that I can't go out and dance salsa every night is kind of hard and that's what normal life is you can't go out every day you have to work you have to have a normal life and yeah and it's just like knowing that you don't know when you can come back. Um, yeah, a lot of people don't like Santiago. I get why, but I love it. It's my favorite city um, in the world. Um, it's, it's one of the best places I've been, or it's that best place that I've been. Um, and that f because of the salsa, of course, because I met the people through salsa and I dance salsa all the time and they pushed me further and they knew that I'm on the point that I can't go further. So they changed the teachers and they did everything they could to bring me further. And I know I'm like what Junior said all the time, I'm a fighter. So I fight, I fought against my teacher all the time with my hands. So, um, yeah, that's that's something that I have to work on and I hope that I can do it in Germany. That I don't miss out on salsa because salsa and scuba diving is the best two sports that I've done on my world trip. And I highly recommend Santiago for salsa. Go to La Terraza de la Salsa. It's like a family there. Um, if you are lucky and they take you out for dancing and stuff, that's the best thing you can do. Like, don't miss out on that. Um, if you have the opportunity, don't miss out on, like, 
to all the experience with the Cubans. Um, even if it's hard at the end, it's worth it to go through it because you have a lot of fun as well. And yeah, enjoy it. Like what the Cubans say, like just enjoy it. Don't think about it, just enjoy it. And I think that's the best tip that you can have for Cuba. Don't think too much, just enjoy it. And then you will have the best time in your life here, for sure. So, yeah, <clears throat> I'm getting better right now. Um, I hope it's going to stay like that. And, yeah, I'm heading to Havana now in a couple of minutes. And I have just a 14-hour bus trip because we're just stopping in Camagüey and then move directly to Havana. I'm not looking forward to the bus trip because that's kind of hard and um, yeah, it's, I mean, that means that I have to leave the city, so that's not that cool and I don't know what to say else, I'm just like tired, not tired of dancing as well, like three weeks, two hours or four hours a day, um, it tires and because of the weather condition it's really hard as well, so that's like kind of what I have to deal with and tired of thinking about everything um, because if you're in the end of your trip you're thinking about home you're thinking about what you have to do and yeah that you have to leave all this amazing people so not again um, I say goodbye for now and um, we see us Maybe on a bus trip or maybe in New York then, so bye bye.